chiamando Joe Carey eh, sul palco a condividere con noi la sua esperienza veramente umana. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm absolutely delighted to be with you today as the concept of rebirth is central to being Italian, is central to my life, and I believe is central to having a life of meaning. Uh, Ludovica, I can't thank you enough for your generosity, kindness, and leadership to put together such an amazing, amazing day. I had brought three very important symbols today. I would share with you that they are safely in the Alitalia Lounge in New York. It's not Alitalia's fault, I just left them there. <laughs> Rebirth is a road undertaken at many levels. Countries go through it, companies go through it, families go through it, we go through it as individuals. I would like to share with you my story of rebirth at both a professional and personal level, as it is an allegory for the Italian story, the story of a country my grandparents came from, a country that I love. My story is not unusual. I share it with you only as it underscores that rebirth really means new beginnings, shedding the past and present pain disappointment and confusion, and coming into a new state of reality. All of my grandparents came to, Italy, to the United States from Italy with a dream of a better life and hope that the next generation would have better opportunities. It was the most absolute leap of faith one could take. They were uneducated, they did not speak a word of English, and traveled to a country where they literally did not know anyone. This was a rebirth of significant dimensions, a shedding of the past and a hope for the future, something we all go through. Because of my grandparents' rebirth, my father was the first one in his family to finish grammar school, high school, college, and medical school. He became a very renowned physician and surgeon. My mother was the first one in her family to finish high school and college. And for a woman of my mother's generation, it's an amazing accomplishment. This is unheard of. My mother today is 88 years old. My parents gave me every opportunity. I was educated at one of the best universities, the University of Notre Dame, for undergraduate and legal studies. Later on, I completed a fellowship at the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University. My personal life was blessed with a great marriage to a wonderful woman and a daughter who I love to the moon. On a professional level, my life was fulfilled. I was the leader of a prestigious law firm, sat on some of the most important corporate boards in the United States, and in 1995, President William Clinton appointed me chairman of the Woodrow Wilson Center for International Scholars, a part of the United States government that works on foreign policy issues. In 2000, I was national finance chairman for the Democratic National Committee for Al Gore's campaign for the presidency. I was so certain of my place in life. The stars and the moons aligned perfectly for me, and I never considered that any of this would change. Rebirth? No, not even thinking of it. I thought my beautiful life would go on forever. What absolute hubris of me to think that life would not turn, that I would not have to change. In 2002, I lost my beautiful wife to cancer. She was a young woman filled with beauty, intelligence, and love. 
To say that I was a devastated man would be the biggest understatement I could share with you. I was reeling with pain and loss, trying to figure out how to go on, to stay focused on being a good father to my daughter, Nicole. Three years later, as I was trying to put the pieces of my personal life together, another painful death occurred, the death of my career. Without going into the searing painful details, I was involved with a knockdown, drag out fight with the Bush Justice Department. It was settled very painfully seven years later. In three years, I lost my wife. I lost my career as I knew it. And I felt completely, utterly with no sense of purpose, meaning, or belonging. Just as I went through this loss of its certainty, so did your beautiful country of Italy. Two of the most glaring examples were the Dark Ages and the Second World War. But as time went on, I went through a rebirth, a new beginning that now fills my life with joy and dreams that I never, ever thought would be possible again. And so did your country. The Renaissance replaced the Dark Ages, and the pain of the Second World War was replaced by an Italy that fed the world through its economic and cultural growth in the 1950s and 60s. Today, I'm chairman and CEO of an international merchant bank. I chair the advisory committee of the World Policy Institute. I'm active in teaching in, and volunteer work. My life has been blessed with family, friends, and a new wonderful woman in my life. Why do I share this with you? Because we Italians have an innate sensibility for rebirth, for new beginnings, to boldly and passionately go move on with our lives. The Italian history, our history, teaches us this indisputable fact. We have lifted humanity through our heart, our art, our music, our food, our design. The prevailing common view is that this Italy of dreams, of passion, of creativity is long gone. I am here today to share with you unequivocally, no. The Italy of tomorrow is going through a rebirth. It's just painful right now. Just as on a personal level one must go through pain and loss, so must a country. The basic elements that make us all Italians are still with us, still within us, and will always be. One last thought. Both of our countries are coming to grips with change and rebirth through immigration. Immigration is not something to be feared. Immigration should be embraced. Immigration adds to the story of Italy just as it added to the story of the United States. If the United States today had rules regarding immigration that were in the 1900s when my grandparents came, I wouldn't be here today. My parents would not have been allowed to go into the United States and my father and my mother to be, have the education and opportunities that they have and gave to my sisters and my brother and I and that we have passed to our children. So I share this last message with you that change through immigration needs to be embraced. It will raise the angels in all of us. Please share this with your family, your friends, and your colleagues. Life is meant to be a series of rebirths. If history is our guide, the Italian guide, the best is yet to come if the Italians and the Americans embrace a rebirth as a people. 
I'm humbled to share my thoughts with you today, and I thank you. God bless, and take care.